Welcome back. In other Sacred Heart news, we're closer than you think. Correspondent Anne-Marie Turpak is out at one of our Sacred Heart bus stops this morning to show just how convenient our bus service is for both children and parents. Anne-Marie, what have you found out for us? This is Anne-Marie Turpak reporting live from the intersection of Lakewood and Schubert in Chicago's Lincoln Park neighborhood. This morning we are featuring Sacred Heart Schools on Sheridan Road's bus service. Nine buses serve 248 families in seven Chicago neighborhoods. Every morning and every afternoon, parents accompany children to and from the school's Edgewater campus. Today, students will have a unique experience and that their head of schools, Mr. Nat Wilburn, will be chaperoning them. Mr. Wilburn, of your many responsibilities as head of Sacred Heart Schools, Oh, good morning, Anne Marie. I have to say, bus duty is way at the top of the list. You know, getting on a bus with kindergartners through eighth graders, it's a great way to start the day. Now, you never know what the crisis of the day is going to be, though. It could be a forgotten snack, for example. Is it true that nearly 60% of your students ride the bus? That is true. You know, the bus service began about 16 years ago. We went from one bus to all the way to nine buses now. We serve seven neighborhoods. Um, and, you know, each bus stop uh, represents kind of a microcosm of, of Sacred Heart community. A little community, several little communities, within the larger community. Now, given that, none of the buses have more than two stops. So, it's really a, a very efficient uh, way for the kids to get to school in the morning and back home in the afternoon. Bus duty, seatbelts, seatbelt on. I understand that you have one child that rides the bus. What do you like most about Sacred Hearts bus service? I do. I What I love most is just being able to walk a couple houses down and put my child on the bus um, that I know is going to be a safe and quick 20 to 25 minute ride to and from school. I also love um, the fact that there's always an adult on the bus um, for extra eyes on the kids or if a kid has a question um, or is feeling nervous for any way. That gives me some, some peace of mind. And of course the added bonus is being able able to stay at the bus stop and chit chat with um, other parents in our community and catch up on what's going on um, and have what we call our coffee clutch in the morning and catching up in the afternoon and that's probably what I love most about it. And I understand you are also the bus captain oh, I which am. sounds very official. What yes. does that role entail? I am the bus captain. It's super official. Um, <laughs> basically my main responsibility is coordinating um, chaperone responsibilities and chaperone schedules for the, for the parents. I'm also responsible for, um, with the school communications between the parents, the bus company, and some school. Just friendly reminders to the bus community if there's a day off or um, uh, we have an extra day off, a snow day, or a um, half day of school. And what I also do is with our little guys on the bus, particularly at the beginning of school, our first graders and kindergartners, um, I pair them up with a middle schooler to help have a little bit of a buddy system so that they um, feel a little bit you know, calmer and have a buddy to go to and from school with, particularly the first month or so of school. So that's primary and very, very, very official. For SHS News, this is Amory Turpak reporting live from Lincoln Park. Mr. Wilburn, should we sing Wheels on the Bus? Back to you in the studio, Leo.